Hello, this is Paul from Parsa Tech. In this lecture, we're going to solve a proportion equation. When we're going to convert the unit using proportion method, we have to solve a proportion equation. So let me go on to see two examples. And if we have, if we have a, this we call a proportion equation, right? So this is a ratio or rate to the left, this is another rate or ratio to the right. So the two rates are the same, so we have uh, the proportion equation. How to solve this? The way is simple. We just uh, do this cross multiplication or cross multiply this equation. Cross multiply is this 12 times x equals 5 times 3. Cross multiply. Or we say cross multiply. That's all we need to do. After the cross, let me see, 12 times x now equals 12 times x equals 3 times 5, 15, right? And the, this is a linear equation, the simplest equation. How it is over? Divided by 12 for both sides. Therefore, we get x equals this, 15 divided by 12. Okay, and then we can divide it by, divide it out the common factor, which is a 3. Divide it out at 3, we have 5 left, divided by 3, we have 4 left. Therefore, the final result for x is 5 out of 3, out of 4, okay, or 1.25, if you use a calculator. The, the first, the way is cross multiply. Let me look at it. One more question. Yeah, the same. Exactly the same. No matter x is on the top or on the bottom, this is a proportion equation. All we need to do, cross, multiply. Let me cross. So these times we get a 36. This cross we get a 5x. And then we say is by cross, multiply. That's all. And then we set up the linear equation. And the 5 times x, we wrote it to the left side. It's easy to see. So 5 x equals 3 times 12, 36. That's the linear equation. Over 5 to the left, over 5 to the right, you get x. So over 5 to the left, what do we get? We get x. Over 5 to the right, we get 36 over 5. Or you say is 7.2, the decimal, okay, if you use a calculator. Then we stop at here. That's, the, that's all. Thank you.